saying that forget America, white America is an irredeemably racist country, and that the only course for the Negroes is to bring about a final violent apocalyptic confrontation of blacks. Don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter. The citizens of Texas will vote to secede from the Union. We're working uh, with local officials, and this is something also this uh, provided funding from uh, through the FEMA program. Cloud seeding is becoming an increasingly popular practice in the arid western region of the U.S. to meet the growing demand for water. But how much precipitation does it really produce? Researchers took to the skies over western Idaho three different times to seed clouds by firing flares of silver iodide into them to generate snow. Using precipitation gauges and specialized radar systems, the results are in. 67 minutes of snow from clouds that otherwise wouldn't have produced a single flake dusting roughly 900 square miles. Enough water to fill 282 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Next steps, dig deeper into the data. I need you to hit the like button so it can register on YouTube algorithm. And again, if you enjoy this free content, this free information, and you leave here smarter, which is my intention, then go ahead and hit the like button. Tonight, the growing nightmare in Texas and the extreme weather crippling the COVID vaccine rollout. 13 million people, nearly half of the Texas population under boil water notices. Massive lines for food, store shelves bare, hydrants frozen. Firefighters battling an inferno forced to truck in water. Burst pipes, billions in damages, and the anger why some are seeing energy bills in the thousands. The HARP device appears to be an experiment in weather modification. Who knows what the Russians or the Chinese are doing? There's some sort of technology out there. There's been lots of work in the field of weather control, using silver iodide inside of thunderstorms to decrease the size of hail. That goes on in many parts of the world to alleviate that problem. They're always firing rockets into the atmosphere in China to manipulate the weather. But is this a good idea? You wonder if you could steer a tornado. What would it take? Even a nuclear weapon might just nudge it, if even that. Peace and blessings, homie. Uh, Peace and blessings. Let me blessings. just say this. You know, it's, it's Willie from off the west side all day. Mm -hmm. But let me say this. I'm a uh, contractor that work in Texas. Mm. And one thing that I noticed, my man, like a couple of weeks, not even a couple of weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago, homie, mm -hmm. he writes, do have a they do have some crazy weather on some days my man the weather will be like a beautiful day the sun come out the very next damn day it'll start raining you know some crazy weather shit mm -hmm. so i'm sorry excuse my language mm -hmm. but i noticed man when i looked up in in the clouds on one of those beautiful days when the sun was up bro they had like 20 or a bunch of those planes bro with the little uh you know the little white smoke coming from behind them i guess like the little trail stuff or whatever mm. I thought that was kind of odd, you know what I'm saying, for, for me to see like so many of them. And it was like they was playing like shoot air tic tac toe, you know what I'm saying, up in the wow. sky, bro. But it was long wow. lines going from here to Lord knows, you know what I'm saying. So I don't know how many people paid attention to that, but this was like, man, I don't even think it was a month ago, bro. But stay up, my man. Listen to your show, love you and the earth. I'm out of here, bro. Peace, my brother. See all of this snow is below zero. It's below zero. And like I said, I'm going to show y'all again so my fingers don't fall off. There was 42 calls for hypothermia in their house. How you get hypothermia in your house? 42 calls. And they say, don't call 911 unless it's really an emergency. We know the power is out. And, and when we call to see when our power is going to be restored, there is no update on your power being restored. But there's more people power getting ready to go off. And you see why? Because they all parked back here, took up all the damn rooms. I said it. They took up all the rooms while people are dying. There's two men that froze to death. How, imagine that. And the only thing that they got are they driving you to go to is warming centers 
where the National Guard is there asking you if you got vaccinated. That's all they got. They pushing you there. Oh, you ain't got no power at home. You ain't got no gas to put in your car. You can go to a warming center. And the National Guard is going to help you get there. But you ain't got 911 to come check on my elderly neighbors that ain't had nothing to eat or no warmth in two days. This is insane, you guys. Insane. I got to go in. My hands feel like they about to fall off. I told y'all I wasn't going to be on here long. I wanted y'all to see that for yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Oh, my hands hurt. My hands hurt. Oh. So how about I just seen the man walking back there to the back? He said, it ain't even us. I said, when y'all gonna turn on the power? He said, it ain't even us. They gotta tell them when they go to Exactly. Come. Governor Abbott, Clay Jenkins, the, t the devils. That's who it is. And you guys know what? You guys really know what I wanna say? We're calling and saying, okay, hey. When is our power going to be restored? Because at first you told us 10 p.m. on the first day. 10 p.m. comes, we still don't have no power, right? And then on the second day, uh, uh, at 10 p.m. actually, we call at 10 p.m. back because the lights still ain't came on. They have no update when the lights is going to come back on, right? So then we call at 12 and they say the lights supposed to be on at 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m., we sleep past 2.30 a.m. We actually called at 3 a.m., and they told us yesterday at 2 p.m. our lights would be on. Do you know our lights are still not on today? And they're saying that there's more outages. And you know what I want to say? You know what the main message of this is today? They don't give a damn about us, okay? The government does not care about us one bit. They don't care about us. People are dying in Texas. Can you believe that? And all the Texas Americans are saying, listen, we pay extra money on bills and all of this stuff, you know, because we don't pay taxes. We pay extra money on our light bills so that we can have lights. But you know what? For you believers and those that believe and profess to know in God, if we don't come together now and do something for ourselves, we will die do you understand that? A lot of people say, well, we waiting on God. We believe in God. God put us here in this earth. God put us here in this earth. Don't come on my live, Mark Alden, saying I voted for him. I didn't vote for that devil. Is you crazy? You don't even know me. Whoever invited you won't need to tell you something about me because you don't even know me. Ain't nobody voted for Biden, okay? Not me anyway. And don't try to group black people all together and say, because you black, you voted for him. The devil is a liar. I didn't vote for that devil. I'm in agreement with God's word. Do you understand me? Don't come on my life with that foolishness. You guys need to have some Facebook sense. That's what you need to have. Don't come on my life with your foolishness talking about I voted for him. You need to have some Facebook sense. That's what you need to have before you just jump on people's lives. And anybody else on this live that want to jump on this live and act like Facebook going to give you some type of balls or some type of courage to be disrespectful. People are out here suffering and dying to hell with politics, okay? To be honest with you, don't need the party care about anybody. Do you understand me? Don't need the party because they ain't lost no money during this pandemic. They ain't lost no, no families during this pandemic, okay? Neither parties care about us at all. And when I say us, I'm not just talking about black people because I have some elderly Caucasians and some elderly Mexican people in my neighborhood that don't got no power this morning and don't have no food for the last few days. So it does not matter. It's all about the wealthy and the unwealthy if you want to be truthful. And it doesn't matter what color you are. In this day and hour, it doesn't matter as long as... As you ain't, you know, uh, uh, in the high positions, in the high offices, you are unaffected. Now, how in the hell do you got power to power downtown Texas, but you ain't got power to give to people in their houses and they dying and they don't got food? You close all the restaurants. They don't have food. We went to bed eating Twinkies and chips. They don't have gas. 
to put in their cars to warm themselves, you guys. I'm telling you right now, they don't have gas. My best friend has slept in her house for two days. Freezing temperatures, freezing temperatures. And they don't have rooms. Why? Because all of these so-called workers, you know, the people that got money to be out here, they're not really out here working. They're out parked at the hotels enjoying the warmth. As you just heard the man, and if you didn't hear the man, go back and hear the man say, ma'am, it's not even us. It's not even us. It's the governor saying it could have been worse. People died. What do you mean it could be worse? They don't care about us, and all they have opened up for us is warming centers at the convention center with the National Guard. Now, they tell you don't call 911 because they know the power is out. But they got the National Guard to come take you to the warming center where they ask you if you've been vaccinated. If y'all don't wake the hell up, I'm telling y'all that right now. Yes, I said that. Dr. Tawana Worlds, minister, servant of the Most High God that loves God with all my heart, my soul, my strength, and my might, as well as love my neighbors. Okay? I said that. I said that. And oh, by the way, <laughs> We ain't got no gas, we ain't got no food, we ain't got no power, it's below freezing, uh-huh, and now they saying, boil the water, well, how you gonna boil the water if you ain't got service, and you know how I tell you that the storm didn't take out this power, because half of the people, especially the elite and the wealthy, they got power. They got power. Now, if the storm took out the power, everybody should be equal on an equal plane, right? Shouldn't be nobody that have power. But how in the hell do you got two houses with lights and then two houses right next door to those two houses with no lights and then two houses with lights and then two houses right next door with no lights and then two houses over here with lights and then one house in between with no lights? Listen, make it make sense. It's controlled power outages. They have picked who they going to uh, not give power to. They picked it. They picked who they're going to get power to. Look at this devil. Look at this devil. Let me turn this up. Because this devil up on here lying. Talking about more power. Now you see downtown? Lit up. It's not because the Petro plants don't want to come on. They, they make a lot of money to come on. It's because uh, they could not get those on. Hit the like button so it can register on YouTube algorithm. And again, if you enjoy this free content, this free information, and you leave here smarter, which is my intention, then go ahead and hit the like button. This the snow in Texas right here. Look. Why is it burning black? Look at this. See that black? This is the snow. Isn't it supposed to melt? So why is it giving off? This black type deal shit. This is snow. Supposedly snow, right? So snow does this. What type of snow is this? I'm from up north. And I haven't seen any snow that got down like this. This shit not even melting. Look at this shit. And you can see the black. I don't know if y'all can see it, but y'all see the black coming off of this shit? Look at that shit. Like plastic or something. All kinds of chemicals. You damn right, bro. All type of chemicals in this shit. So, yeah. If you're taking snow from outside to boil it, to drink it, uh, that would not be safe. Because we're not sure what's in this snow. Because this ain't snow. This is a no. I heard somebody talking about this and I had to check it out for myself. And this is what we got. 
Watch the black smoke come off this shit. Y'all see that black smoke? Look at this. Look at this bullshit. What a time to be alive. Look at that. I snow. I snow. But yeah. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with y'all. Love, light, and peace to all my people. Make sure I go check out Love Always Not Shop for more love, more light, more energy. And let those who are already dead be dead alone. Yo, I'm I'm in Texas right now, brother. And I, I would uh, ask all the people from the East Coast or anywhere where they grew up where it's snow to ask them mm -hmm. that, that are in Texas, what did y'all notice with this snow? Because it mm -hmm. looks like they was like little dust flakes, bro. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it, this tech this um this mm -hmm. snow, the consistency of it is so thick. What I mean, bro, mm -hmm. if you make um you from you from New York. You yes. from you from New York. Y'all have snow all the time. Mm -hmm. If you make a snowball, does it feel like a brick, bro? Yes. It feels like a brick. Yeah. So okay, because the consistency of these, when you put them together, it's like a brick. Mm -hmm. And 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 when you throw it, I, I've been around snowballs and and everything like that. And you throw it, and it usually busts on impact. Mm -hmm. These joints is like bricks. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something else. The um the fact okay. Y'all be having ice out there, right? Mm -hmm. But y'all haven't had a pile up of a hundred or something cars. And nah. I make you I knew you can say, well, it's Texas, they're not used to driving in the snow. But that ice, bro, was super slick. Mm. I'm talking about super slick as soon as it touched the ground. Damn. This is a science yeah. experiment, bro. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it makes sense what they're talking about now. Trying to freeze everybody out, mm -hmm. make them mm -hmm. go to the warming centers. Yep. So Put that information out and yeah, I just I just played the like video. I'm about, I'm about to play the video yeah. again, talking about that situation right there. You know, they're yeah, trying to freeze everybody out and make them take the right vax. there is, is, is yeah. the agenda. Yeah, That's of course. That's the agenda right of there, Emre. Right? Of course. You feel me? That's why I had to... And you got to think about this. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself a year ago to five years ago, what was the temperature in any given Texas uh, city on that particular day? Mm. And I, it wasn't no below nothing. So mm -hmm. people should be in an outrage, bro. People should be, this should be like one of the biggest things in history. Like, w why is it snowing in the middle of February in, in the middle of Texas, bro? Mm -hmm. the, next, next, they're going to tell us in the middle of Arizona, it's going to be in the middle of July, it's going to be a snowstorm? Is that what they're going to be able to tell us next? And we're hmm. just going to be able to go with it? Hmm. Like, where are the scientists? Where are the people that study things like this? Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm I don't know, bro. I'm 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 not some super genius. But when they talk about an Arctic blast and all this and uh, all it, bro, they make up terms in order to make their science, uh, you know, experiment. Basically, basically yeah. they talking mm -hmm. to a country full of uneducated people, bro. Honestly. They're talking to a country full of uneducated people. So whatever they say gonna go, bro. Mm. Common sense. Bro, I listen, I'm not from Texas, I'm right. I talk to everybody in Texas that's older than me, mm -hmm. and they said they never seen this in their life, bro. Mm. Wow. So it's no way in the world we shouldn't be outraged by this, bro. It seems like I'm the only I, one that really be I like, was, yo, what the hell is going on? I was definitely outraged by it. That's why I had to just do this live. I I don't even want to talk no hip hop shit. You dig? Nah, bro. This, this is real is shit serious, going on. Bro. And then when that sister said that agenda, and mm -hmm. I, 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 I told my girl, I said, that's what it is. It makes mm -hmm. sense. I was mm -hmm. like, we got to get prepared because our lights and water about to go back out. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's getting real. I see what's about to happen. And, and what they're going to do, tell everybody go to the warming stations and get their vaccination. Yep. I'm about to play the video again. So 
the people could see it because a lot of people just come in, in the room saying, yo, yo, wreck, play the video. I missed it. I ju I'm just coming in the room, so I'm about to play when the video. When have you ever heard a hundred pile, pile up in any city, let alone in the mm. middle of Texas mm -hmm. during an ice storm? That was crazy, crazy. bro. Crazy, bro. And the and the and and the cold out here, bro, is bone chilling. Hey, I'm, bro, I'm I've hearing, been to, I'm I've been zero to below. Stratton, Pennsylvania. I'm bro, I've been to Stratton, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. I've been to New York. I've been to um Seattle, Washington. Bro, hello. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Bro, yeah, I ain't never felt the coldness. Bro, mm -hmm. ask the people in Texas how 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 bone chilling cold it be, bro. Mm -hmm. In the middle of Texas, bro. So right now, this man caught. So right yeah. now, how cold? How cold is it? It's like it's like thirty something degrees out here now. Mm, I'm, I'm a little outside of Austin, where the, where the other mm -hmm. brother called from. Mm -hmm. and, but I be in Austin. I was in Austin when it all went down, and gotcha. the brother was hundred percent correct. It was um in in the areas where the hood was at, and, and like you know, I don't really know the the uh, whole Austin area like that. But between the area where he was talking about, mm -hmm. and like. On the other side of town, because I was unfortunately I was on the other side of town where the lights were still at. But I was talking to people on the other side of town. They were like, they lights off, they water off, they cold as hell. They don't know what to do. Asking me about hotels over here and everything like that. I was like, yeah. Then I would call over there. They were like, yeah, the hotel is full. So then they was just you know dead to the water. Mm. So it makes sense if they if they chill everybody out and then make a heating center. Where do you think everybody gonna go? Yep, to the heating center and then. In order for you to get inside the heating center, you gotta take that vax. They're asking you, you see, if you um been so vaccinated. This is a real not, political agenda, bro. Yeah, of course. This is a so all these black people out here, all these hardcore black people, we need to come oh. up with our own heating center. Mm -hmm. Whoever got heat in this in this situation, y'all need to start letting y'all people know come over here. Mm -hmm. But eventually, they're gonna cut that shit off too. I mean, excuse me, mm -hmm. but they gonna. In the, but at the end of the day, we could we could, it's like the underground railroad. We don't have to move locations, bro. Mm -hmm. Of course. Luckily, I'm mobile. But like I said, when they slick them roads up like that, bro, when they slick them roads up like that, you ain't going nowhere. There's nowhere you're going. Mm -hmm. So they know what they're doing. Definitely. This is definitely some scientific, high-powered military. And, you know, everybody talk about conspiracy, this mm -hmm. and that. Bro, you can see a conspiracy in your face. But your, mm -hmm. your life, your regular life, you, you keep going on with your regular life, so you be like, oh, no, nah, that's not that. This, bro, mm -hmm. when I talk to grown people that grew up in Texas their whole life and say they never seen it, and and they're not even shocked by it, it kind of disturbs me, bro. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It kind of disturbs me that we're so lost at looking at stuff right in our face, and we won't even acknowledge it because... We got so much going on in life that we're so distracted by. The Facts. next year, they're going to tell us in the middle of July, bro, there's going to be another Arctic blast, bro. And mm. people are going to go for it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I ain't crazy. trying to take up all your time, but there's yep. definitely something going on out here, man. Thank you, bro, man. Hold your yep. head, man. All Hold right. out, brother. All right. Using technology, A propaganda, and psyops to oppress and control you. A new world Black order. intelligentsia. Please share the new black media, counter-propaganda arms, make it plain TV.